Hey, y'all. Y'all, this is the week after graduation for that do number two. Been having it on cruise ever since. Listen, so we have taken a few days just to try to be still. Just be still. Just hear the peace of God. Just be still. Be still. Because we've been a ripping and a running and a running and a ripping. That's what I told y'all. Be still and know that I am asleep. <laughs> I've been sleeping. Well, you know how to do that. Y'all, I've even gotten me in um, some much-needed spa time, too. So I'll insert that at some point. I ain't even cut that the little clip. Listen, he's somewhere sleeping. I'm somewhere getting rubbed on at the spa and Who's just rubbing? enjoying it. Who's rubbing? Bring it down. Stop. Put the car in neutral. Hold on. Put the hazard light Not on. Not neutral. Turn off the hazard light. I'm just lights. saying, who been rubbing it's... on you, girl? Wait a minute. Who was it? I'm silly. Ooh, a much needed spot. Look, who was with, it? With it better be hot, some big woman named with, Brutus. I mean, look like she been cooking in the cafeteria in the kid, kids' like, cafeteria. Like the big girl off in the, in the big Brutus or something on Shrek. Yeah. The big girl. For Fiona. What? <laughs> you yeah. crazy. Fiona. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So, yeah, so we, we enjoyed our time at the spa while he's somewhere asleep. But, y'all, we've just been, we have been resting and chilling and just enjoying one another and each other's company and basking in the moment that have not that it's be. really done guys we bitch we ain't been in no gym we ain't walked on nothing diet is crazy diet now i gotta busted. go back just gotta go back and tell all this junk up and do it again look man diet, diet busted those 11 pounds i lost while i was doing the pre-op diet with two um I probably found those in this some y'all. It's been crazy, but we've been enjoying ourselves. So next week we plan on, you know, really getting on, getting, getting back, back, getting back to, to doing life. I like, saw back doing two setups. Getting back to the norm. Yeah, because you've not done any setups. Did nothing. So. I'm back at it though, people. I promise you. I promise you. By the time where we at May. By the time July, we we'll be, we'll be good. So we've been spending time at our home, away from home, and it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. So that's that's what we're doing. We just wanted to pop in real quick because I know y'all probably feel like, okay, y'all have just disappeared. What is that? We have not. Um, a little. Like oh. in the grocery store. Oh. Yeah. So we're just going to, we're running some errands today. And we were kind of wanting to get, I don't know if we'll find anything, but wanted to peep at maybe a couple of uh, little chairs for our patio. For our, yeah. The little patio porch. Um, so that's what we're getting ready to do and do number one one is some um one is some um we think we're in the mood for some fish today or something. So anyway, we just wanted to check in with you guys to let y'all know that we're doing well and we're resting and just enjoying some much needed time trying to do Nothing. What you mean? A basket? That, that's a basket. That's a basket. Give me a basket to sit in. But don't walk or do nothing. They got the ones that bounce. Let's just sit here like a bird. Like you have a bird build a nest in here. You, you like see a pterodactyl. You like you sitting in a bird nest. Come on, be like babe. a big pterodactyl. Them big birds snatch you off the balcony and take you where you're going down. I will run and catch you. You will catch me. Babe, come on. Come on here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some music because there's music playing in the background, so hopefully it won't be too loud. Look. You want something that rocks? No, I want something that's gonna sit there like a dog. Like a what? I want something that's going to, I need to know, I want the long kind of, well, you know the one that's Oh, you of, want like a chaise that kind of, you, where you can put your foot here. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, okay. You know what I want, well, you know me. Let's, know let's, me. let's go see, it's, it's more stuff out here. I 
We need to do something on our patio because we've not done anything. I've just not been inspired. Baby, how about just something simple? They have some little chairs over here. Get myself together and I'm gonna really get out there and do some work in the back. Mm. Oh, you cut through here. here. Cut, cut, cut through here. I know we had we had like a little chandelier thing out here. Mm. Baby, up under there are these chairs. You see the chairs on the bottom row? Chair. I don't need you, this thing. You need a big boy This ain't for Jackson. I can't. <laughs> hey, I don't think no chairs out here. No chairs? Ain't no chairs out here, but it's fine. I need to do what I said. Yes, you better go up the gate and get okay, the chair. I'm like, listen, listen, listen. I'm to talk to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> listen, y'all, here's what took place. You're so sweet. There was a little chair set out there, and I, okay, I was okay with it. It was a what? A little chair set out there. Man, Dom, I think it was $600. I told him, no, we need two church chairs from the church. Let us sit them out. We can sit down. We need some fold-up chairs. Two fold-up chairs. We don't have no fold-up chairs. We, we, we have some fold-up chairs at home, not at church. We got two of them. We'll just get two. The brown ones. I'm talking about them two brown chairs. How you said, no, man? No, Look. sir. Yes. No. Set your tail down. Put a carpet in them. I'm going to say a little sponge. A sponge? What's that? What you make it, what's that what you make it easy? You mean a cushion? Cushion, yeah. That. Not a sponge. Whatever. I have just finished um, several hours of pampering. I got here. My appointment was at 11.30. It is 2.15. I'm just getting ready to leave. I did not realize my children gifted me with a gift certificate. Um... To be pampered. What I did not realize is that the gift certificate was last. They gave it to me last Mother's Day. Y'all, it is a few days before Mother's Day 2024, and I'm just now using it. Oh my goodness. I was thinking it was, they gave it to me for my birthday, but when I looked at the gift card, y'all, it was Mother's Day. I have got to do better. Look at that. Mother's Day from last year. Isn't that something? Y'all have got to do better. So, needless to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed my day of pampering. It has come after the celebration. <laughs> the graduation celebration of our dude number two in his graduation from college and we've just been going, 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 going and doing, 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 doing. So this was much needed. Y'all, my face looks and feels like butter. Not butter, but butter. This facial that I got was so hydrating. Oh. And then the massage with the hot stone. I mean, from neck to toe. Oh my goodness. I feel like I can just go home now and just 
get up under the covers, but can't do that. Oh, it just feels amazing. So, mm, when I tell you much needed, so thank you again to all of my babies and this wonderful Mother's Day gift from last year that I'm just now cashing in on. Oh. Mm. Wow. Ooh. But speaking of skin, um, I'm going to share a video I did before Stephen's graduation. It was actually before the graduation and before I got my hair done. So you guys don't think I've taken my hair down because I've not. But I often, well, several times I've talked about my skin and my skin care. And um, I need to share a video about something regarding my skin care. And I'm not going to go into what it is because in that video I kind of explain or I do explain what I'm doing. But it just made me think about that. So I'm going to share that video. Um, for those who may be interested, I just thought it was fun and it was something totally different. Um, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So again, in that video, my hair is not braided up and that's because it was done before I got my hair braided and before the graduation. So, um, I'll be sharing that soon. And like I said, I just happened to think about it because I was talking about, um, y'all, that was my elbow. That was my elbow. I didn't. I didn't pay his gas. <laughs> my elbow. <laughs> but I just happened to think about it. Um, I captured it, and I'm just not taking time to edit it yet and share it. So I'm gonna do that since I'm talking about skin. But ooh, ooh when I tell you, ah, <clears throat> mm. <sighs> all righty then. I just wanted to. I just had to share. Because I feel so relaxed. I really do wish I could just go curl up in the bed. But I can't do that. It's almost 2.30 now. So let me get to getting. Y'all, it is the next day. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, y'all. The chair search was kind of an epic fail. Um, I thought I had found two black chairs, but as I was getting ready to check out, we, I was checking out dude number one came in and one of the legs on each one of the chairs were bent so i'm so glad he came in because i hadn't even noticed that i was just so excited to grab me two little chairs <laughs> it was all over your face that you dropped some but y'all i was so excited to find two little chairs but uh just as she was ringing me out we put them back. So then we left there and went to Walmart. 
Didn't find anything at Walmart. Well, not chairs, but y'all, we did grab an air fryer because we were getting fish. And I knew I wasn't ready to eat mine then. So I said I was gonna wanna reheat it. And I like my fish crispy. So we were gonna, I had taken my other air fryer back. So we got an air fryer. Let me show you what we got. We're not even using it yet. Dude, number one, took it out of the um, box and put it away. So it's the Gourmet Digital Air Fryer. Four quart capacity serves up to four. We didn't need anything huge or all fancy. So we just grabbed that, that one. Let's see. Ooh. And I do not want it sitting out on my counter, countertop. So we just um, we'll just keep it out. I mean, keep it put away until we need it. So, this is just big enough for us, y'all. That's all we need. But didn't even use it to reheat my fish. I ate a piece once we got in and then I was, I was pretty much done. You know what I'm saying? I think for right now we can leave this on the floor. Have biscuits from Biscuit Bill. No, I still have not gotten anything to cook. Got my pots and pans yet. I guess I'm trying to relax. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really ready to start all the cooking when we are here. Um, I just be wanting to relax. Have you seen anything? Since you're being stingy, we need to taste it. That's a big old snack. Let me taste it. Don't let them see. Okay, well, can I have a bite? No. You don't have to hold I'm it. Hold it. No, I'm going to hold it. Okay, I can't. Okay. Go ahead. Can't bite it. You stingy. Let me taste it. 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 Let me I got me a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, but I'm not wanting it right now, so we are getting ready to head back home. I think I'm just going to take it with me. Why you don't want your sandwich? I just, I, I don't know. Probably because I know we're getting ready to head out. I just don't want to. When I eat, I, for the most part, I just want to sit down and relax and enjoy what I'm eating. But you ain't have a I problem taking a dinosaur type bite out of mine. That wasn't a dinosaur bite, and I just wanted to taste it. You look like a pterodactyl the way you bit that. You, man, you was a Why do you have? Why do you have to act like that? I'm just gonna enjoy my cappuccino. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my biscuit and cappuccino. And what? It's Something not a cappuccino. Something to drink. Hmm. I'm not a coffee drinker. Uh -huh. Don't drink it. I see you guys all drink your coffee in the egg. More power to you. Me. So, give me orange juice, apple juice, water, grape juice, pineapple. Well, I actually have more, I have more cream than I do coffee. So, because I like it real light. Because that's how my mama used to make it for us. Is that all right right there, babe? That's fine. Okay. So. All right, so listen. Now, we have been, okay, I admit. I'm going to admit first, we have been just terrible, but everything resets um, today. Somebody back, getting back home, jumping out there, getting my exercise, um, getting my exercise, cutting the grass. Man, now I can't say for y'all, but good Lord. Okay, I can't say for you all, but I can't say, but it's like you can sit and watch your grass as it's growing in front of you. So, okay, I got a lot of maintenance to do. Staying on top of it. And it seemed like as I was riding through the neighborhood, a lot of the neighbors, their grass wasn't cut. I don't know if the person that, you could tell um, there's some kind of 
company that cuts the um, majority of the yards. I do it just for, I cut my grass for just for the therapeutics of it. Just out there. And you can do a good job, man. Yeah, getting the exercise. One, and you can think a lot. Do a lot of thinking while you're going up and down, cutting grass across, you know. So I do it for the therapeutic of it. I don't know, one day I may turn it over to a company. But I don't know if the guy who cuts the grass in the neighborhood is, I don't know if he was backed up. I don't know if he was sick or something. I don't know. But everybody's yard looked like it was very high. And I was looking like, wow, that's strange. I mean, it's strange. But you can tell it's the same guy because you can see the the, um, the cut pattern and the, the size of the tire of the, um, what well, the width of the cut of the blade. I think a lot of times we see him cutting it too, so we know it's the same person. Yeah, but I saw him cut um, one of the particular neighbor's yard. And the other ones went and cut. So I don't know. So nevertheless, I don't know if he got behind, but nevertheless, for me, I'm going home, and it's going back to what I'm saying, I'm going home, and I'm going to get in to get my grass cut, take care of that, got to go wash my truck, get all that done, and get ready for, um, get ready for tomorrow. So I got quite a bit to do, quite a bit to do today, and that's going to um, start my kickoff into going back to what it was. As a matter of fact, I have not touched a weight or a sit up in what? It's, so it's, it's been at least a couple of weeks, you know, after dealing with everything we had going on with the graduation and the cookout. And yeah, just, so I'm gonna get back back onto um just, back onto where I was making great progress, but you know, me too, babe. We got to. I yeah, have to get back get on. The do so right, right. I have to do a hard reset. Yeah. And the hard reset usually I will go two days and just don't eat anything for two days, nothing. So that'll strip out everything, and then we'll start back from there. Start working out. Um, you know, just going from there. And so right now, I'm going to enjoy my biscuit, and I'm going to go home, and I'm going to start. And then you probably enjoy the rest of the weekend, too. Yeah. See, I'll be trying my best. She talked me out of it. No, don't you no, not going to talk I'm me out saying. of it. No, I'm not going to do it, though. I'm going to do my best. For those, I know a lot of times I'll be like, I'll start on Monday. Monday coming again. Mm. Monday coming again. Another Monday. But, you know, actually right now when we're recording this, is the weekend. It's like Mother's Day weekend, so I'm going to enjoy my weekend. I hope that you all... By the time you see this, it will be after Mother's Day. So I hope that you all enjoyed and happy, your mothers. Happy Mother's Day to every last one of you mothers. You ladies have done, I believe, a phenomenal job at being the mothers. And if you are, if your mother's still alive, make it your business. Make it your business to give her a call, a call, a visit. Just to say, um, well, thank you. Because there are a lot of mothers that opt out of the, well, they took the option not to be the mother. And I'm not going to judge anyone in any way. And that is to say, um, maybe they just, I don't know what their life was, what they were facing, what they were going through, but maybe it was something very young and they couldn't take on that challenge and grandma had to step in or aunt or whatever had to step in, but still... Um, you're here, regardless of what you've been through, you're here. So just a phone call, a visit, a call, just to say, Mom, thank you for what you did or even for what you didn't do. Because regardless of what it is, you're here. So happy Mother's Day to every last one of you. Give me a call tomorrow. And as I stand here and try to hold it together, I wish I could make a phone call. I wish I could give her a card. And this Mother's Day, um, it's going to be a double whammy for me because my mom's birthday falls on this Mother's Day. So having said that, um, it's going to be a challenging day. But I will enjoy the day with my husband and with my children. And... You know, make the best of it. Make the best of it. But I've had my, my moments this week um, just where the tears show up out of nowhere. You know, it can be a scent. It can be a sound. Grief is sneaky. <laughs> I'll say that. So, um, usually, 
usually Mother's Day weekend I leave. I'm so thankful. I'm so blessed to have such a wonderful mother in love. But I tried to leave Mother's Day weekend and allow my husband to look for the cards and the gifts for mom. Um, Cause sometimes it's just it's it's challenging for me. It's challenging. So anyway, um, hope that you all did enjoy your Mother's Day. I think we're getting ready to get out of here, right? Yeah, we get out. Of here. So next get week will be <laughs> next week will be more on a normal schedule. Um, I guess I need to get back in the kitchen a little bit, huh? <laughs> but we've enjoyed our time off of celebrating. It's kind of surreal. It's like dude number two, aka our baby boy graduated from college he's taking care of so now we can kind of exhale and there's so much that we need to do at home um, as it pertains to our home uh, now that he's gotten he only took a few things not much at all out of his room so now we have permission to do whatever we need to do pack it up and good with it <laughs> to do whatever so that's that's the first order of business is getting his room cleaned out and getting it painted you guys I'm gonna I hope I don't forget to do it when I'm editing this video, but I'm going to um, post the video here when we decorated his room and we did like a basketball theme. And that was the first, I think that may have, that may have been my very first video. If not, it was in the early two, three, four home. videos, but I think that may have been my first video. I'm going to link that video here. Now, y'all, the, the quality of the video may not be that good because it was, what, 2016, but I'm going to link that video so you guys can check that out. But in any event, I think I captured a little bit of his room. We were trying to do those doors that look like lockers. Yeah, locker room doors. And then um, all of the basketball players and, and that he was really following during that time. And then his cousin's name, Trey, is on <laughs> It's on one of the doors, so just a little project my dude, dude number one and I did, and I thought it turned out really nice. But in any event, it's time for us to take all of that down and paint the room. Right now, stuff is everywhere where he was kind of going through what he wanted to take and what he didn't want to take, so it's left to us to be giving some, some things away, and then we'll probably, like he said, just send the rest of it to Goodwill. But anywho, it's time to get back at it. Um... That chapter has closed and it's time for us to get back at it. But we have enjoyed our time away, our home away from home, just spending time trying to kind of recover, recuperate, and enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we ready to go? Yeah. All right, well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it was probably kind of boring, but we just, we hadn't seen you guys, so we thought we'd just pop it. It was just a slow down video, guys. Yeah. Trust me, we've been hit the gas again. Yeah. So, we, um, if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Did you get biscuit on my lips? By hitting the nosy. Just turning on that notification bell. Did you get biscuits on my lips? Yeah, let me get off. Thank you. That's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing whatever it is we're doing. All the things. Because y'all know there's going to be something else next, right? <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye.